Very important to remember never to use anything but black powder or Pyrodex in your muzzle loader. Smokeless powders made for reloading modern bullets can blow up your barrel and kill you. We have some choices when it comes to powder. We have black powder and we have Pyrodex. But for our side ear guns, we want to use black powder. And to demonstrate, let's use my smallest muzzle loader, this uh, black powder cannon. Before loading any muzzle loader, you must check to make sure that it is unloaded. We will put in a fuse. Then I'll measure out my powder. I put my powder in a powder flask. This is a simple plastic one. There are clear ones, there are elaborate ones, there are brass ones. They are nice to have, easier to carry around than a can, and safer. But you never put powder directly from your powder flask into any muzzle of any muzzle loader. If there's a spark in there, this could become a bomb. So you always use your powder measure. And in this case, I've adjusted this so that it measures out 10 grains, and I'm using Pyrodex here for this first test. And I simply use my powder flask to measure out 10 grains, and I have what I need for my little cannon. Now, even though I'm only shooting off a little cannon, I am already wearing eye protection, and I'm going to put ear protection in. Always wear eye and ear protection whenever you are shooting a muzzle loader. We'll put that in the cannon. Now, I use cloth for cleaning and I use cut patches for my round balls. I buy cut patches, but I use, I cut my own cotton rags for cleaning rags, and in this case, I'm going to use it as a uh, wad for this cannon. I'm not going to actually shoot anything out of it. Uh, it's just as likely as a fuse will come flying out than anything else. And I'm going to put some bore butter on it because this will protect the gun. Stick that in there. I will use a Q tip. For a ramrod, in this case, and let's fire it up. I've moved the powder out of the way. Now that we fired the gun, we have to clean it. And in this case, I could actually use some of the, the bore butter on the Q-tip and actually just make sure that I get all the burnt out. Notice here that the there are particles of unburned Pyrodex. That's why I don't use Pyrodex in side-eared guns. In fact, in my experience, Pyrodex doesn't ignite easily without the help of a big shotgun primer. In this night test, for example, the Pyrodex just flashed out the fuse hole, and even then the Pyrodex did not all burn. Black powder, on the other hand, always seems to work. There is a reason it is classified as an explosive, and Pyrodex is not.